Aïe, Fato de Stierdon, Pomp de Dumpster, Vis, Hewlett Packard, Laptop Docking Station. So one year ago, I made a Tierdon of a Dell Docking Station. So we will see if it is any different. As usual, you have your uh, special connector to fit on, under your laptop. You have uh, this mechanism. You have uh, adjustable locators here that uh, will allow easier uh, correct location of your laptop depending on the model, apparently, because this plug is not always at the same level on the laptop. What seems to be a main uh, power switch here with uh, a LED uh, light inside probably on the LED strip here for some indication and also same thing here. A uh, lot of connections on the anti-theft features. So first the anti-theft features we have one here. A non-model of a uh, lock it seems. Quite a weird thing. Uh, all here for uh, Lock, uh, Kensington one, and one more here. Seems to be a big uh, Kensington type thing. And uh, about the connections, we have audio in and out, uh, your PS2, this uh, weird plug that nobody never use. Uh, parallel, serial, VGI, DVI. Display power, main power to the uh, laptop and the unit, docking unit. Your USB with provision for uh, enough power for hard drive, it seems, according to the what is uh, indicated here. Your Ethernet and more USBs. Okay, screws are uh, Torx with uh, slot, slot inside to. Uh, Hello to use a regular uh, slotted screwdriver and here is the XP tag with uh, part number here for you. So let's take it apart. I will start with This screw here seems to be a cover to something. Yes, like this. Oh, we see a little bit better. Apparently, a lot of metal inside this thing. It is a pretty heavy unit, actually. And then a number of torx screws. They have, yes, blue thread lock on the threads, like on uh, IBM laptops, they do it also a lot, but uh, now I think it is a quite a common thing for laptop equipment. It will uh, try to prevent the screws to, from undoing by themselves with use, but it does not always work. Okay. It was really a big matter back in the time, the screws on laptops. In particular, the, in particular, the screws for the hinges of the screen. When you use it a lot, they will uh, and, uh, unscrew in themselves and you add a, a screen with a lot of play in it. Okay. They are all the same size and in very nice condition, so it will be good to put them in my uh, Screws stuck. This one has a weird sound. This one also. I'm sure what is going on here. Maybe I was not supposed to undo these particular screws. Ok, 
Okay, and we have a few more here at the back. Hopefully the thing will just open in two parts. They are not very tight, except for this one in particular, maybe. Okay, next one, I believe. Uh, yes, more or less. Uh, it is cracking open, but uh, it does not want to come yet. We start. Maybe we have hidden scores. No. Here, no, also. Uh, where could we have screws? Here, maybe. Let me grab something to try to do these rubber pads. Very well stuck, but no uh, screws behind them. So maybe it is a matter of. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, in here, nothing in special. The code of 2011. Plastic was made by Bayer Company. It is written here, it is ABS plus uh, polycarbonate and apparently they can have several manufacturers of a plastic GE, LG or Bayer and uh, maybe they provide the molds and uh, the manufacturer will, uh, the plastic company will select its brand quite weird, we have uh, yes date uh, things here so 2011 Okay, uh, we have now this, uh, this one, this thing, works like such, but it does not want to come yet. Uh, what can I do else? The whole thing should open in fact. I was expecting it to open. Ah oh, yes. Hmm. Almost, uh, almost. Ah. Oh. Uh, this screw apparently is giving me some problem. Maybe the 3D insert is turning loose inside the plastic. Yes, it is this. I can see. You will not be able to see, but I can. Ah, maybe. Here, the uh, brass insert for the screw is actually turning loose and therefore I cannot undo the screw. It is quite uh, interesting. What to do? Time for big screwdriver, I guess. See the screw just uh, here giving me some trouble. Very unexpected. Ah, ah, here we are. Okay, so it was this thing here. You can see ah, it is here. The brass insert did. Uh, break loose from the plastic housing around it and it is why it was not able to undo it so here we have ah, ah, okay. on this side a plug is just uh, disconnected by itself 
is a plug for the LED applicators here, but on this side there is a different kind of uh, connection. So I will first do this one after giving you a bit, little bit of zoom. So same screw model. These things are quite fun to take apart. Either way, okay, we have, as expected, just a little PCB with, uh, yes, two LEDs, one for the uh, plastic uh, light pipe here, and one for the button itself. Four wires, one push button, and the uh, board model number for you. Okay. This button is not coming off because it is more or less clipped in place by oops, just two plastic retainers like this. And you can see your clear uh, light pipe behind the power logo. Okay. Good to see that they have uh, included brass inserts for all of the screws, but sadly uh, they are not uh, very, they are maybe a little bit too uh, short and do not have enough grip in the plastic. Okay, next, oh, this thing did just come off from somewhere. I am doing the second one here. Should be a more or less the same thing. Just a lead on this one. Okay. Light pipe like such. That should be connected. No. So here I can do the lead. We have a big electronic bone here, but first. You can see this assembly is uh, actually quite impressive. So here we have a push button to release the laptop. And it will uh, flip this wall, a big die cast metal uh, piece. Seems to be either magnesium or aluminium. Quite an impressive uh, thing. You can see the... Uh, top piece here is reinforced with uh, uh, steel plates uh, evenly uh, riveted with these plastic rivets quite a nice construction so there are these pins here so we just allow me to remove this part and yes they are uh, secured here they are, have uh, stops to prevent them from uh, coming loose inside your docking station, it seems. A spring here, okay. And yes, this quite uh, impressive a metal piece. Which material is it? So for this purpose of testing metals, I just took a uh, drive magnet and uh, a screw. Oh yes, of course this is steel, but this is not magnetic. It is written here ZS1, so it is it for Zang something. But I believe it must be some uh, aluminium uh, die cast. Not really sure I will test it for magnesium content with vinegar, but it will probably go in the aluminium scrap. Okay, here we are left with, for some reason, we have two big flat screws that are extra securing this uh, as is everything here was not enough, they did add 
big flat screws to even more secure the metal plate to the plastic piece. Quite weird, and here we have each time three screws to the uh, spring loaded pins that will uh, adjust your laptop. Same construction here with a pin like this, which is not uh, secured by USB clip or anything. Quite weird. So there is the, other, the same thing at the other side here. This might actually be uh, maybe brass. Not sure, but it is not magnetic at least. Okay, so I will retrieve later the other one here, obviously. Now we are left with the main interesting piece, the electronics. Uh, quite a large circuit board actually. Secured with Philips screws. Since we are inside, we do not need more Torx screws it seems. I will remove this little spring here. Here we have with the big uh, weird anti theft thing that I will undo. If uh, I do not undo all the screws, it will not be easy to remove. Okay, so this thing. Interesting feature. Okay, and we have now. Ah, oh yes, it is uh, mechanically connected to this. So apparently, you will put something in here, or it will secure here. With the help of a uh, little uh, push piece here, but for it first I need to undo the wall electronics. Apparently, they are secured with just a few screws. Uh, here maybe. I see one obviously here and here. It should be good. It should be good. We have an extra hidden screw somewhere. So, I have a feeling I am mostly annoyed with the DVI plug here, so I will undo, try to undo it, because it is on a board to board connector here, so I will be able to remove it separately. Should be able, yes. Here it is. We have uh, free scale, I believe. No, parade. I see very small. And no, is it coming off? Still not. This thing is annoying. You know what? I guess I must undo separately the board and the uh, 
metal frame under it. So I will disconnect this. I will undo this screw here. And I must undo all the other things. If I can grab them. Yes. I have tons of this uh, pre did uh, pieces from computers. Okay, so it is still not coming, guys. Really not doing. Ah, oh, here we are. At least. So, on the bottom, we have this uh, sliding piece for the release mechanism. We have the uh, second uh, stack screw. You can see the uh, plastic uh, surround of the uh, brass inserted uh, brake, brake close, and uh, it is why the screw was turning loose with a lower noise. Two of them were broken, actually. Okay, scrap plastic. And now we have this board left. I will just finish doing the stuff on it. So this unknown connector, the anti-theft mechanism here. EV, uh, diecast metal, this thing. So, which material it is? Not uh, magnetic, so, except for a pin here in the middle. Not quite an uh, EV thing. And now we are free. Okay, just uh, metal plate here. Big grounding strap, it seems, going all the way to the connector here for the top. And here is what we have. So, bottom side, obviously nothing. I will just zoom for you. So, the Dell laptop at uh, docking station had a lot of uh, electrical safeties as a poly fuse, poly switch fuse table fuse on things like this but here I do not see any of them we have the main power supply input here with what seems to be uh, maybe a reverse voltage protection diode here Doctors here, but I do not see any fuse. Quite interesting. A few uh, management ICs for the uh, USB uh, display port and um, Ethernet, it seems. I do not see any uh, Ethernet magnetics module, so it must be uh, built inside. Ethernet transformers, it must, they must be built inside the plug. It is possible. And here we have our main laptop connector. Very fine pitch contacts, as you can see. Soldered on the board. It is not secured to the board with screws or anything, just. Uh, so maybe uh, two metal tabs here from the shielding, but it is not, uh, does not seem to be super secured mechanically to the board. Maybe, yes, we have more uh, metal tabs here 
coming through on the soldered at the bottom. So it is the only way it is mechanically secured. A big uh, all-in-one block for the uh, parallel uh, serial and the uh, VCI connectors. You can see they are all part of the same thing. Quite interesting. Maybe it is a piece that uh, that is commonly used or was at least commonly used onto uh, motherboards. And it is uh, almost everything. Some uh, big uh, power system here, and uh, obviously power switching devices as uh, MOSFETs here. Smoothing capacitors. So either for the local power supply or for controlling the uh, powering up of the laptop from the base, like so. And it is all uh, interesting grid here of uh, probably options on version numbers you can set. They have been set with what seems to be a red glue for uh, surface mount parts. Sometimes surface mount parts are actually glued with a, a drop of glue under them and it is uh, something like this. We have even the, what seems to be the uh, exact manufacturing time. Or it is something completely different, not sure. And what else? Yes, here one green LED that is hidden from the outside. Or uh, maybe not actually. Maybe not. Because I did not notice. Yes, on the. There was a light pipe that is here. Okay. For the uh, power supply. So it was located like this. So this is a good idea. You provide uh, visual uh, information about the presence of uh, power from the DC adapter. I see two DC adapter, and it is very convenient because most of the time they did not provide them anymore on uh, adapters. And if something does not work, you are not sure if it is your uh, wall uh, power plug or uh, broken wire or anything, and it helps a lot actually. So yes, so there was this light pipe that was coupling light from this little LED here and it was probably located like this over the power plug ok quite nice apart from this I guess it is all for this thing so I am left with a pile of parts that I need to put to the precise thing and a few screws on the hardware I will need to go through and see what I really need to keep because if I keep everything I will end up uh, under a giant uh, mountain of parts I will never use as this thing for example quite interesting but probably perfectly useless so thanks for watching Bye-bye.